Lanka International Airport. So, as a man you see here, the Lanky man with a GOC president, all of them are here. It's just going to have a feel of the people here. And so, um, it's, it's good, it's good. And you see him turn gradually to come and see us. And so, the gentleman has arrived. Asafa Powell is in town. With a wife, Asafa Powell is in town. Massive welcome. Massive welcome. Massive welcome. Alongside the GOC president and other dignitaries here. Massive. Massive. And so very, very soon, we'll see him pull us. We'll see him come. Very soon we'll see him here. And so he'll be coming. Very soon he will be moving here. And so again, every profile about him will do that trick. That indeed, he happens to be the fastest man I can see there. MPC president and the president for the Africa Paralympic Committee here in our midst. And so you can see him as he as he walks majestically, as he walks majestically with us here. So, yes. So this is the man we're talking about. This is Asafa Power with the rest of them. We say a big welcome to Ghana. And so in it, um, just a, a step back for us, for the media to have a feel of you. And so, as, as, as you come here, please hear for us. Ghana Media, we are all here. And so, we say welcome. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, it, it feels good, you know, this is a welcome that is fit for a king, you know, and um, I feel at home when, you know, now I'm here, you know, with my wife, and I'm very excited. Now, for the sake of the media, you turn a little bit and then, and then face them. Now, okay. tell us. Well, you know, I've always wanted to, to come here, you know, always from, you know, ever since I started my career in track and field, you know, but I, I wanted to come here to compete at first, you know, but, you know, now I'm retired, you know, my wife, you know, um, I have the opportunity to come here to visit with my wife now and to see where she's from, where she grew up and, you know, to get to experience some of the culture. Since you have So sweet, you know, um, I miss it, you know, most of the times, you know, but, you know, I get to spend more time with my family, you know, and um, my kids, my wife, and, you know, everybody, you know. Everybody in Ghana is yearning to just um, get closer to you, to really know exactly what is in this man, what type of machine <laughs> is this man. You know, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy to be here, you know, um, to, to really share my experience, you know, and to you know, teach in whatever way I can, you know, so you guys can live, you know, live, um, live through me and, um, you know, hopefully, you know, I can be back here a lot more, you know, and to share, you know, everything and to spend time with, you know, my family here in Ghana. Jamaica and Ghana connection, it dates back. Are you here to rekindle? Yeah, man, I, I need to find my roots. <laughs> I need to find my roots. I need to, see, need to know where I'm from. <laughs> Indeed, um, guys, um, okay, so, uh, guys, last one for, for, for the channel. There are other um, things you are about to do, but we allow your, your partner here to say a word, then you arrange your thoughts and tell us some of the things you'll be doing for Ghana. Okay. So, sweet, um, welcome to Ghana once again. Thank you, Medase. <laughs> How has the reception been like for you? Really, really great. This is so amazing, and I'm so happy to have my husband see where I was born and raised. So we're very happy to be here. How many years, how many months have you been convincing him to really touch down uh, on the real since, since we got married, since we got together, I was like, you have to go to Ghana. So we finally made it here. And hopefully next time we can have our whole family and our kids here with us. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, before we, we let you go, because you know you have tight shadows, what are some of the things we should be expecting um, in this visit? Well, you know, first, you know, it was a long flight, <laughs> you know, so, you know, I need to get some rest. 
you know, but I have, uh, you know, a long list of things that, you know, have to um, get done while I'm here. You know, I have to meet a lot of people and I'll be seeing a lot of the country, you know, and um, as the week go on, you know, you, you guys will see a lot of updates and, you know, stuff that I'll be doing. Like president of the Ghana Olympic Theater, the Ghana Paralympic Theater here. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. President, thank you. Just tell us what the subject is. Well, it's, it's been on the table for, you know, back for COVID. I, Asafa and Alicia would have been here much, much longer. You know, what we're looking for is looking for a sports icon you know, who can uh, motivate our young. I mean, when you hear the story of Asafa, then you know that every kid in uh, Bukum, every kid in Nima, every kid in most of our deprived area can also one day become somebody like Asafa Powell. So that's the whole, that's the whole story. Asafa is here to inspire every, little, every Ghanaian doing sports, every child on the street who wants to take our sports. He's here to inspire you. Asafa is here for everybody. Fortunately for us, Asafa is our in-law because Asafa is married to a Ghanaian. So, you know, we're going to make the best use of him and make sure we get every bit of it. But remember, Asafa didn't pay all the bride price when he, when he took Alisa away. So I'm sure guys will start demanding that money from him. So thank you very much, everybody, for coming. And uh, you're going to, the communication guys are going to give you the itinerary. Tomorrow, they want to just, it's been a very long journey. So they want to take a rest tomorrow. But uh, trust me, uh, from, one, from, one, from Wednesday, we'll keep them running. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there African uh, Paralympic Committee So what a time, a time yeah. we launched the, the African Games, the first standalone African Para Games. Yes. And also officially opening a secretariat for that one. And then we are getting an icon like this coming in there. And what is all of this? Yes, uh, let me take this opportunity to invite all of you to join the, the group and the for Power to our office tomorrow. We'll be meeting and have a chat with him with some of our athletes to discuss how we can brand our sports in Ghana. You know, he's an icon. He has a great experience of the sport. And such a personality are people that we will need in our country to help us in marketing our brand and marketing our country as well. So I think I appreciate and I'm happy seeing all of you again. And I hope to see you in the same group and more than more. We need you at our office tomorrow. I'm inviting you. The African Games, indeed. Will them once again? Yes, we are doing the Para Games and we are doing the African Games. It used to be all African Games, but now, you know, we have to separate the Para from the Olympic. That's why we call it African Games. So we have the African Para Games and we are going to have the African Games. And tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm giving you a breaking news. The Honorable Minister will announce the date for the next African Games in Ghana. 